I remember going to Sony and tell that when we play Dr. Beat, I said, that would never Dr. work. Beat. Dr. Dr. Beat. Dr. Beat. Dr. Beat. Dr. Beat. And you know something? They didn't want to put any money. So we went oh. into all the record pools and they start playing all the songs, number one in Holland, number one in Paris, number one in England, and they became huge. We go to Holland, people went crazy, they wanted, we want more. And I said, Gloria, we should play the Cuban conga. I said, that's a good idea. They don't speak Spanish, they don't speak English anyway, let's do it. We start playing the conga, people go crazy, totally crazy. And when we finished, I said, I think I you know, want to start writing maybe a song called Conga. We talked to the drummer. I came to Miami, we recorded the song. Time to go to New York. Seven times I went, they, they never let me even come into the building. Really? Finally, after seven times, my guy, you should say with Dr. Bean, incredible. I said, this is a new song. And when I play, the guy looks at me, you must be crazy. Do you think say, Y100 or C100 is going to play this kind of music? That will never happen. Take the tumbao out, take the drums, take the horns. I said, Marab, I think you should be singing instead of a girl, you should be singing. I said, I'm not a singer. I'm a producer, musician, but I'm not a singer. And he said, and by the way, I think you have to change your last name. I said, I don't want to take the piano out. I don't want to take the horns out. I don't want to change my last name. And you know, one thing that made a mistake, he said, you should go back to your country then. And I say, well, you like it or not, this is what America's going to look like. And the guy said, well, good luck. We went back to the record pools. Record pools play a big role. It's like internet now. They start playing number one in London, number one in wow. England, number one in Holland, Germany. And then comes to the States and Conga became such a big hit.